Hey guys, how you doing? This is Julian Lee, and in tonight's video, we're going to be reviewing another click tracking tool for affiliates called Red Track. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how that works. If you want to find out more about it, go ahead and click the link in the description field. But let's go ahead and jump over to this, guys. Um, in my coaching group, I was uh, made it was, this was made available to me, and I was checking out today to up my account, and it looks pretty powerful. Okay, so um, this is what it looks like, guys, and I think you get up to five thousand. Um, sessions so 5,000 visitors could go could uh, go through the system with the free plan if you got to go above that of course it's then 29 per month and of course if you don't have a custom domain just so you guys know um, to use a custom domain you actually have to use their uh, their paid version a custom domain meaning to redirect a domain to this tracker instead of using their default tracking URL all right so without further ado Hey guys, how you doing? This is Julian Lee, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing another click uh, tracking tool called uh, Red Track. Now, this is a different tool from Click Magic and Q Liker, um, and this is really designed to be able to scale and use a lot of different on different uh, traffic platforms. So, let me go ahead and jump over real quick. I didn't see a review on YouTube, so I figured let me go ahead and create one for you guys, um, so that way you're familiar with it. And here's Red Track real quick, and um, they actually with their free with their free plan, you actually get up to I think five thousand. Uh, visitors you could use and if you go above that or if you need to use a custom domain they can redirect to them instead of using their domain then you actually have to upgrade to that particular plan alright so let's go ahead and jump in real quick I want to show you guys around the uh, the interface real quick so you see exactly how this thing works and it's a little bit different um, from what I'm used to uh, you kind of but I kind of like it because again with marketing you gotta start with the end in mind meaning when you go and set this bad boy up you gotta start with the, uh, the well obviously we won't work with the domain because again we're using the free version, right? We could try start with the traffic sources, and this is what I like about it. If you click on new, right there, it already actually has a lot of the tracking uh, different traffic sources. If there's not something there, you could go ahead and add it. So let's say, for instance, if I want to add a new one, I'd call it Solo Ads, just to use that as an example, right? Solo Ads. So let's go ahead and just select that there, and let's see, we've got everything set up, All right? You can see there. With um, with the paid membership as well, you get a fraud score integration. Okay, you don't get that with a free version. So we'll set that up. And oops, solo ads pops up there. Let me just go ahead and edit that real quick. I got one extra S that I don't need. All right. And then now from the traffic source. So generally, if you have the paid version, you start with the domain, right? Whatever domain you want to use. Then you go to the traffic source. You create your traffic source if it's not there in the drop down list. Then you go over to the traffic network where you're actually driving the traffic from. And if you click up, uh, click on new, you'll see all the different traffic sources on there. So this is designed to work with all these places by default, right? So this is pretty powerful. Now in this particular case, um, if this is not a traffic network, we'll just say, well, let's add a new one. And new, come on. All right, and um, let's see here. In this particular case, let's see how this one's gonna work because this is gonna be very interesting. All right, because I actually wanna leave this one blank but let's let's uh, for the sake of this video, we're gonna leave this one blank, guys, because I need to give, um, you know, this is if you're working with different traffic networks. You can see you can drop your um, account manager information in here, and the affiliate network that you're using as a placeholder for custom orders. So let's just say solo ad net. Let's put that there, right? So it's a network of solo ad guys. Let me see what it allows me to save there by default, and there it goes. All right, so solo ad network. You see, I've got one set to YouTube channel. Um, there as well and then from there you, this is where you set up your landing page okay now you can actually click on new and if you got a um, HTML landing page this is where that goes into alright so notice the domain there you want actually to be the same so let's we'll use call this one test one alright and let's say here we'll call this one HTTP google.com alright google is going to be our landing page I don't know if it allow me to select that but let's find out all right, it does allow me to use test one. All right, so there's my landing page there. And from there now, you're gonna go ahead and actually, this is where you actually add your offers, right? If you're working with different affiliate networks, you put stuff in there. I actually grabbed a few. I've got um, a survey funnel that actually have four different out outcomes, but it's still in this one landing, so I actually have the different offers there. Um, in your particular case, right, depending on the affiliate network you're working with, right, if it's solo as network, um, this one will be different, um, but it could be a different affiliate marketing opportunity. You put the offer name there, um, you know, the affiliate network associated with it or a custom name for it, and of course the payouts, right? So in this particular case, 
let's just say I'm marketing I don't know something from Clickbank um, let's go back to networks real quick actually let's go back to offers and let's just put something there just for this video right we'll say um, we'll just say um, so lose weight off right let's call it lose weight actually you know what we will call it make money online okay and in this particular case network um, we'll just say let's save this first of all looks like I better come back to this I'm going to copy this let's go back to networks first and this is create a new network just for that one and let's see um, top let's call it top tier affiliate offer oops uh, let me see um, it should allow me to save it just by the name I don't think it needs a URL in there okay there it goes alright so now I've got my lander I did actually have a test I've got my offer I'm gonna use one of these affiliate offers here and then now I get to go set up my campaigns now of course you could have all your tracking information there you got your your uh, conversion pages now this is to me this is perfect if you drive into a page like say you're doing some content marketing for instance right and maybe it's a native ad and you've got a nice nice pretty native ad there you got your image across the top or a blog post where you actually have these links and you track these links you can actually set up a page to look like a blog post just so you guys know alright so you would actually drop your conversion pixel on the different pages there based on the action the person takes alright so this is a simple tracking tracking uh, tool you scroll down there you can actually just literally copy the uh, depending on the kind of track you want to use you know, whatever, whichever image source you just kind of drop it there and you put it in okay so let's go now to the campaigns so you'd start this way set up the campaign we'll call this the make money online campaign so we'll call it MMO so we're going to select the traffic source we did today with solar ads we're going to use a do default domain because we're not using custom domains all right and um, let's see we're not even doing are we doing a redirect no we're going to leave it we're going to leave that default all right the value here we'll leave that blank right because we're not tracking traffic there in this particular case all right um, let's see here um, save campaign to generate URL so they'll create it there now here it is so you come over here you select your landing remember we select our landing page this is where you select that right test one if you got more than one landers you want to do some split testing you can actually drop it there you'll see the split test and wait all right so now this is the offer section you want to click on plus offer and you'll excuse me not this one actually just um, this the drop down here and I've got my offers in place already so we'll just say we'll just select that offer for the affiliate um, offer there all right, and pretty much that's pretty much it, guys. You hit save. There's your there's your uh, uh, pixel tracking and impression tracking there. You can add that if you want, right? Pixel post back settings. If we're doing post back URL, this is where you put that. I'm not doing that in this particular case because I'm keeping this video nice and short. Impression URL, click URL, they'll be saved. They'll all be created once you actually save. So if I say save and close, this is what that would look like. All right. So this would be a campaign. This would be your this would be your link. If I open a page, let me see, let's do a new incognito window. All right, I'm going to just drop that link there up top. So right now it's going to give me a red track um, URL. You see it right there? Very similar to what you've seen on the page. I press enter. Okay, and I, remember I told you I did set it to google.com right now. What will actually happen is if I actually have those different offers in this page, so think of some text here, offer one, offer two, offer three. In this case, I had offer one. Say that the offer one was set to this Google search link. If I click that, that's what it'll actually track. So let me show you now what that looks like inside a tracker, right? Because um, you guys are probably thinking, what the heck? But I see how powerful this is because a lot of some ad networks don't allow you to do any redirect, uh, redirect URLs. They want you to use the same URL throughout the, um, the campaign, like for instance, Facebook, PPC, AdWords, and some other ones. They want you to use the same domain, all right? So not allowing you to do a redirect domain, and that's this is perfect for doing that. Um, so if you can do something like that, you've got to make sure you get the paid plan for 29 bucks because you guys actually have a custom domain in there. All right. So now, um, so yeah, when you're doing places, when you're advertising places like uh, Facebook and a lot of pay-per-click, um, big um, different different, you know, a lot of big pay-per-click companies, what I should say, um, the ones like Google, YouTube, as far as pay-per-click, YouTube pay-per-click, uh, Google AdWords, Google obviously owns YouTube, uh, Facebook PPC, and a lot of these different uh, native ads networks. That's what you want you what you would only want to use. But so this is how this would look as far as your stats. Let me refresh this real quick. Alright, and it won't show much because I've set the page, my landing page to be google.com. But generally what you would see here is you'd be able to see the click, 
the unique clicks, the landing page views, right? And I didn't track that. And let me just scroll over here. Let me see if I can move my video out of the way. Let's see if I can do a little scroll in here. Ah, it's right here. We're going to see landing page views. When I get to landing page, landing page clicks. Then I can actually uh, can, um, track the conversions there and track the conversions percentage. And of course, there's a transaction amount, all that stuff. I'll be able to track all of that. The revenue, the cost, the profit, the ROI, the cost per click. I didn't set any of these metrics up, guys, obviously, for this video. Um, but this is so much more you can track in here. And this allows you to scale massively, too. So if you do a media buying, that type of thing, guys, you can really use this tracker. This tracker is pretty damn powerful um, in comparison to some of the other ones. Because I know for ClickMagic and QLiker, the cost is going to be a lot more for the amount of traffic you get at a $29 level, which is, I think, 300,000 visitors a month. Um, and of course, it goes up more if you um, if you um, if you're running more traffic, you got to get the higher package. But I know with uh, Click Magic to do up to 100,000, you actually actually pay the 40 something dollar plan. This is 29 bucks. So if you're looking at it from that perspective, just learn how to use this in here, guys. And they've got a great and you know don't don't be alarmed by my quick demo, right? They've got a great help section in here. Let me just find that. And they've got a quick tour section, and they've got a Red Track TV. That literally shows you how to do all these different campaigns in little short videos, guys. I went through some of these. This is how I actually learned how to track, set this stuff up. Tracker overview. You got the split test if you want to set it up. Atlantic configuration. Post back settings. Um, you got all this stuff right here, guys. Post webinar. I did a little webinar section there. Uh, direct track. Uh, direct tracking direct traffic. Okay. Um, so this note without any redirects. And that's pretty powerful, guys. All that stuff is right in here, okay? And this is a dash, just a dashboard where you could see all the different campaigns, right? So if you just want to focus on that particular campaign, you can. Uh, let's see here. This one, you can there. This is how that looks. And, of course, you can see the clicks and that type of thing, guys. It's really powerful. And, I, and you know, and to me, this is very cost-effective. And, again, it's cost-effective because of the amount of traffic they allow on the on the cheapest plan, which is 29 bucks for 300,000 visitors per month. You do have to pay a lot more if you're going through Click Magic or Q Liker in this. So um, because of my coaching group, they brought this to my attention today. So I got my free account set up so I could kind of get used to how it's set up. Then I get my paid account when it's time to start driving some traffic through this bad boy because I got to use my custom domains. All right. So guys, this is a quick uh, review of Red Track and a quick walkthrough, if you will. Like I said, I didn't go into the details to show you guys how to try to converge but it's pretty straightforward in here guys and again this help button here would be your friend you'll be able to see the uh the tv uh red red track tv there you can watch that there's a knowledge base in there it's also a quick tour that shows you guys how to kind of go around here if you go to next steps it tells you where everything is guys it's pretty straightforward um but it's just different in how it's laid out laid out but i like it because just like in marketing you start with the uh the end in mind the end in goal in mind right so it starts from your custom domain and you set up your tracking sources and networks, the landers. So if you're doing, if you're working with different CPA networks, for instance, that's perfect. And of course, based on those traffic sources, Google, pay per click, Google AdWords, you know, um, YouTube, pay per click, and all those different, uh, different banner advertising, um, places, you can actually set everything up in there and be able to track everything in your campaign. All right. So this is very powerful, powerful, uh, click tracking tool. To use to track a lot of different powerful tra uh, traffic sources okay so guys that's it for my video hope you got some value from this and um, like I said I didn't see any reviews on it so I decided let me go ahead and create a quick video about this tracking tool is something I'll be using myself um, and as for folks are in my uh, coaching group they're also using this so I want to thank you very much for your time much much love and appreciation for that I salute you for being here and also um, I hope you guys got a lot of value from this particular video and if you want to find out more about it, go ahead and just uh, click uh, the link right in the description field, guys. You can set up a free account there. And when it's time for you to start running traffic, make sure you get the cups and domain and actually get your paid accounts. All right. This is Julian Lee. Thanks again for being here. Much love. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.